July 6, 1981, Time magazine wrote in an article entitled, Terror in the Name of God. The Islamic judge who sentenced them, Ayatollah Muhammad Gilani, did not even know who they were. The 12 girls, the oldest 18, the other under 16, refused to identify themselves in court. When Gilani asked their names, each in turn replied, Mujahid. To the question, child of, each replied, the people of Iran. Gilani solved the problem of identifying the girls by having them photographed. Then he co-signed them to the firing squad. Islamic guards led the dozen girls to the courtyard of Ravine prison in Tehran. The oldest was clad in a fl flowing black chador, the traditional Muslim veil. The others wore dark headscarves. As the guards began to blindfold them, the girls started chanting, death to fascism, death to Khomeini. 20 years later, we are faced with the undying chants of down with Khomeini, down with dictators. From Fatima Mehspa, the 13-year-old girl executed by such firing squads, to Nida Agha Sultan, killed by a bullet in the streets of Tehran, the women of Iran have paid for freedom and democracy in their homeland with their blood. We now see their continued struggle and relentless bravery in each and every one of the women in Ashraf. So let us chant with them, down with Khamenei, from Ashraf to Tehran. Down with Khamenei, from Ashraf to Tehran. As Nida symbolized the recent uprising in Iran, let us remember Ashraf has been the land of Nidas and thousands more. Let us celebrate the bravery and unprecedented courage and leadership with all women of Iran. Those in Ashraf and those in Iran, we're with you, we're with you. میگن که وقتی حرف از دل بر بیاد لاجرم بر دل هم میشینه. وقتی هر کدوم از این جوانهای حامی اشرف صحبت میکنن انگار نگاه آدم